Cyclone Gita sweeping by Dunedin did not deter about 50 cyclists from turning out for a bite of breakfast in the Octagon today to mark Go Bike Day. We just um, ate a Target Girls <laughs> and we just rode down because we're doing a bike unit at school. Looking forward to hot breakfast? I try to get fit and my friend and I were meeting each other so we were committed. It was cold, it was cold this morning but we're here now. Go Bike Day aims to raise awareness of cyclists and Dunedin organiser Ilka Fedor says while there has been positive momentum on cycle lanes from the City Council, there's still more work to be done. I guess it's not really about speed, it's about it being done in a safe way. Um, of course we'd like things to be done and done today, but uh, the main thing is that it's done in a safe way and that cyclists are protected. Some riders had travelled all the way from Canada and Korea for the event. Hilly, very hilly. And somebody needs to talk to the planners who decided to build a street as a wall, but otherwise it's pretty good. What's it like cycling in, in Dunedin streets compared to Korea? Uh, it's less crowded, like much less cars, so it's much easier to bike ones. What do you think about the weather though? Uh, it's worse in Korea, I think. Despite the conditions, this rider was celebrating his sixth bike breakfast and clocking more than a million Ks. Participants were treated to a full breakfast and hot cup of tea or coffee, while the breakfast was also shared with those who might not get a meal otherwise. The event coincides with February's Aotearoa Bike Challenge, where workplaces across New Zealand challenge each other to see who can have the most employees cycling to work in the month of February. Roselle Lebone, The South Today.